What attracted me to the microfinance course and the Daniels College of Business is the opportunity for a real world experience outside the classroom, traveling to small villages in Peru, learning the political and economic issues of social entrepreneurship, it doesn't get more real than that. Featured in Forbes magazine as one of the nation's 10 most innovative business courses, the experience combines innovation, creativity, and social purpose. The Daniels partnership with Deutsche Bank offers an experience like none other. The idea that you can do good and do well is highly recognizable in Peru. We worked alongside micro-lending institutions, reviewing loan applications, and making recommendations to Deutsche Bank's investment committee. Students get the idea that they can either uh, get into business to make a profit, or they have to go to a nonprofit organization or something to make a difference in the world. But the microfinance area is designed to combine those two. We drove up here and we saw nothing but quinoa farms on the way. And it turns out that they harvest that quinoa and then bring it here in a cooperative. And uh, whatever amount they bring, they get back in proceeds back to the farmers. So, and it also contributes to uh, the seed sourcing. There's tons of quinoa farmers right out here that could real easily bring in all their quinoa and get good value for it. Uh, and it gives them, since this processing plant has room to grow, it gives the farmers room to grow as well. We visit the microfinance institutions or the cooperatives, and we talk to those people in the, in the business of the business so that we understand what they need to go through in order to be profitable or to uh, make a difference. Then we go out into the field and visit the people that they're affecting with their loans or their leases. We are here to visit a uh, cattle sale. This is a great chance for us to see how people use the money that they uh, get from the microfinance and micro leasing projects for cattle sales. The nature of the place, particularly the kind of culture of uh, being together, they're all eating together, they're, they're not just buying and selling cows, they're actually having a social event as well. I haven't seen any farms like these either in the United States or in China. These people are selling the sheep because it's school season. They need to sell the sheep to get to pay for their kids' tuition. I never expect like to exactly being here and to see the farmer's life and how they negotiate the process. It's very impressive. The most interesting thing that we did here was actually the site visits of Los Andes Bank clients. My favorite was a trout farm that we got to visit where we actually got to see the ways that a small farmer had implemented new farming techniques and innovative borrowing practices, I guess you'd say. Um, it made me think that there's definitely a place for microfinance in rural development here in Peru. By seeing it in action, they understand that doing business today is a much more complicated process than maybe it's ever been before. There's an investment in the earth, in the uh, environment, that's made in the same way that you invest money uh, to earn a return on it, you invest in the earth to earn a return on it. I work in banking, so the loan underwriting process was interesting, but also the opportunity to do something that was really tangible and really experience taking something from the classroom and really putting it into practice. I've had a great time kind of debunking some microfinance myths and learning a little bit about the real challenges they face here and also about the very impressive solutions that they found to those challenges. The amount you can learn just working with the people and seeing the bank versus just in a classroom is, is vastly different and um, has made a huge impact on all of us because when you're here seeing the people and how these, these micro loans are really affecting their lives and how the banks are working, it, it helps put it into uh, a much better perspective. Doing the cultural heritage tours is immensely valuable to helping the students tie together what they're seeing on the business side with what the country looks like in itself. The floating islands are pretty amazing. Uh, it's a cool holdover, I guess, from times when there was a necessity for protection to live on the islands. And it's cool to see that those people are adapting and staying there and making the most of, of their, their cultural patrimony. It's been an amazing journey coming into Lima, seeing kind of the beach area, flying into Puno where we were up at 12,000 feet and it was, uh, you know, there's no trees or anything in Lake Titicaca. To finish here in, you know, a mountainous jungle um, and seeing kind of the history of the region, 
really made for a wonderful experience. When we talk about innovation and creativity and social purpose, this is a place that seems to have all of those things.